Hi everyone, Lina here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a calendar which you can select the start day and see highlighted today's date. I also use this calendar in my content planner spreadsheet and it's really helpful. So now let's get started. First, we need to open a new spreadsheet and resize the columns and rows. We also need to make sure that the horizontal line is center, vertical line is middle, and text wrapping is wrap. Now I will use the border function to outline the calendar. Then we create the grid for the dates, leave enough space for all the days in the month. It should look something like this. In the first row, let's create drop down menus for the year and the month. I will open a new sheet and name it Setup. In this sheet, we will enter the necessary year and month data. Now go back to our first sheet, choose Insert, choose drop down menu. Here you select drop down from a range and go to the second sheet, choose the necessary range. By this way, whenever we want to change the data for our calendar, we just need to change it on the setup sheet. But I want more advanced functions, so I will choose arrow to make my calendar look more neat and clean. For the month, we do the same. I want the month displays here, so I will choose the date value function 1 and month and then the year. 
Okay. We can see a number here. Don't worry. Use format, number, and you choose custom date and time. Here you can choose any type that you want. I will choose a month and choose apply. You see, I see July here. Now we will create the start day selection here. Here we also use a drop down menu, but the difference is we don't choose drop down from the range, but we just change the name of the options because we only have two options, so there is no need for put them in a separate sheet in the second row of the calendar we write the initials of the weekdays unlike the previous video in this calendar we will use the if function to display the weekdays according to the selected start date On the left side of the calendar grid, add the week numbers, label them as W1, 2, 3 and so on. We will need 6 of them. Okay, I have 5 here so I need to add one more row. Insert one row below and then add W6 here.
Now I will add the days of the month. Here I will use a combination of sequence, weekday, and date value function. I will put the formula below the description. So we just need to adjust it a little bit to fit your sheet. After we have all these number, we need to use format number to custom date and time and then choose any type that you want here. I will choose only display the day. Our calendar now works perfectly, but I want to add two more functions. The first one is I want all the days that are not belong to this month turn gray. So I use format, conditional formatting, you choose cost, custom formula is I used this formula equal month of G7 is not equal to the month of F5. The dollar symbol is used to create an absolute reference, which means that the reference to the cell F5 remains constant, even if the formula is copied to the other cells. Now I want the today this is highlighted. So we're gonna add one more rose, choose that is today, and then change the color of it. Now we just need to customize our calendar. Go to Pinterest and choose the color palette that you want with keyword color palette plus the color that you want. I really like green recently, so I will use a green color palette. Now, before we change the color of it, oh, I want to remove all the border. So remove border first, and then I use the color picker to choose the color from the color palette. After changing the color of our calendar, you just need to change the font of the text. And this is the end of our video today. If you want to get this template free, go to my website, noti.com, click Google Sheets, click free spreadsheets. Then you can choose any free spreadsheets that you want to download it. 
Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again. Have a nice day.